Uh, yeah, well, my son Jimmy watches this cop show, DJ Laser, and this laser guy does this every time he takes down a bad guy, so naturally my, my kid thinks every good cop should be... And you don't want to disappoint the company on blind. Okay, okay, I get a kick out of it. of the RoboCop program developed by myself at Security Concepts. Tell me about your plan, Mr. Morton. How long will it take? On the street law enforcement programming, it is my great pleasure to present to you RoboCop. Hello folks, Matt here. Welcome to the Retro Room and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we shall be looking at the long-awaited Robocop by Nika. So you've had to endure that uh, longish intro there, so I'll get straight into the review now. And like we usually do, we're gonna start with the box. Now, what I will say is this is definitely probably my favorite box um, that Nikav's produced. I'll try and get the light just about right, but um, as usual, you have like the uh, poster like they normally have on their boxes. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but it's got this lovely sheen, uh, sort of you know, quite like the uh, purple greeny colors that you have on these, uh, on his armor. I've done a really good job on this. It's, as I said, it's definitely my favorite of the boxes. Just a quick tour of the box. As you can see, uh, the side panel there, with the nice Robocop logo, a uh, side image there of the figure. On the back, just a few more shots there. Um, I don't know why these companies do this. They don't really put on fantastic pictures and try to sell this thing. But anyway, and again on the side there, just another side shot there, another logo. Much the same on the top, although they're taking that from the poster. And on the bottom is all the usual licensing and that lot. Like with the usual boxes, uh, this does open up, like so. I have removed the figure already because I didn't want to uh, put you through all that plastic rustling like I normally do. Oh look, there's my reflection. As you can see there, that's quite a nice shot of uh, the figure there. And you get a little sort of background image inside the box. Well, that's enough of the box for now. Let's move on to the figure. And here it is. Not that one. Here he is. So let's get right on to this. Hopefully um, I won't need to do any camera changes or anything. I'll sort of do this all in this one shot. But there we are. Robocop. This is actually quite a sturdy model despite all the uh, various bits which I'll go through. But we'll, uh, we'll start with the paint, why not? As you can see, there is uh, like this spray of purple on there to depict the, uh, I guess it's uh, some sort of stainless steel titanium uh, alloy there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, it works quite well from a distance. If I just plop him there for a second. You see, it does kind of work, but um, on closer inspection, 
it really does, just looks like globules of uh, a sort of purple paint there, which it is, obviously. But it's not that bad. They've done, I think, a fairly good job considering the price, which we'll go through shortly. Sculpting. I'll start with the head. There we go. It's not too bad, to be honest. Um, I think you could say that was Peter Weller's... Yeah, that's definitely Peter Weller's... Uh, the bit of the face that we uh, you can see through there. It's a nice sculpt. Uh, even the paintwork on here is, is pretty good, actually. Um, there's very little overpaint there. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to put this in close for you to see it, but yeah, they did a good job on the painting here. On the side of the helmet today we have the uh, OCP Police 001, which is his, uh, his model number. Lots of little details on top, as you can see. And on his legs here, you can see there's another um, this way around. No, it's, it's, it's this way around. Right okay. Again, it says OCP Police-001. On the legs, there's loads of detail on the legs, as you can see there, on his uh, sort of kneecaps there. See those plates. Even on his ankles here, you see these Achilles tendons things. See, they're all movable on these little pistons here. These are quite fragile, so I'd be quite careful with those. And again, his feet there, just sort of some nice detailing. Same on the back. Lots of little details there to keep you interested. Now, this does have an action feature, or a couple actually, to be fair. Uh, on the leg, it does pop open via this uh, little switch here to. Uh, show his little uh, gun holster on his leg but we'll come back to this in a moment and these other features are well this is very actually uh, just close his leg back up otherwise it's not really going to work actually I'll come to this point now this uh, the leg part here that opens up it is very fiddly to closed again and this part here does come away very easily it doesn't break as such but it does come away but you have to push down fairly hard on this and then eventually it clicks back in like that. It's quite, I mean, I think if you gave that a few goes, that might loosen up a little bit, but it is quite stiff. But anyway, let's move on to articulation. So obviously the head does move around, as you'd expect. It's got a nice range of movement. Same with the arms, they, they are stiff as well. Same with the elbow, elbow joints, these are quite stiff. And the wrists, they do move. This, this has loosened up quite considerably since I've been using it, but um, they were stiff to begin with. You can probably hear that. It's still uh, needs a bit of work on there. One thing that does bother me with Nico, I just wish there was supply of stand with this because getting these things to stand up on their own without any support is difficult. And yeah, I'm sure they can chuck in a little disc or something because they've got the, uh, the punches in the feet to put the... Uh, them on the stands so um yeah it would be nice if they could just include something once but yeah no it's a very um satisfying figure of robocop hopefully he'll stay right stay obviously this does come with accessories which we'll go through now we'll start with his spare head there we are it's the one with his Helmet removed there. Again, you can quite clearly see that uh, Peter Weller includes the, uh, the bullet hole when he's shot in the head. It's nice paintwork there, slightly glossy, just got a nice little finish. And on the back, there we go, we can see you've got that sort of greasy, sort of oily look to it. Nice little paintwork around where his ears would have been because this is face, it's just a face. And uh, obviously you got all the little gold box and stuff on there for his voice. Yeah, a nicely painted uh, head sculpt. I will just pop this head off so we can have a look. Again, it's quite stiff to get in, but once it's in, it's not gonna come out again. There we are. Yeah, it looks, quite, looks nice there. This is where you're going to fall over now, isn't it? There we go. So that's his spare head. We also get a spare hand with the uh, data spike on there. Again, this is very fragile and I nearly broke it removing out of the box. But it survived. 
Let's swap hands. Eventually. Fortunately, the hands are made out of rubber, so there is some giving up. You know what? I've put it on the wrong hands. Never mind. <laughs> You'll just have to have. Uh... There we go. Here's a data spike. I'm not going to stand you up anymore. Next, we have the Cobra Assault Cannon. Again, another quite fragile uh, piece here. These uh, little stands that pop down. Uh, yes, they do break away very easily. Again, they don't break off as such, but they um, do come away quite easily. A very basic uh, piece here. Uh, very little in the way of paint. Well, there's none, basically. Uh, there's a little bit at the front there, but I think that's just a sticker. There you go, where the lens is. A couple of uh, green and red dots there. But again, it's just a nice little thing. Look at that. Two more. And I will need Robocop back for this. Because we have the Auto 9. Again, just a, a basic, you know, just plastic design. No painting as such. But there is detail on here, as you can see. Now you might notice the uh, trigger is missing, but it's okay. Because as you can see, his finger is uh, bent around just so. And this actually fits really nicely into his hand. And like that, there we go. As you can see, his finger's poking through. He says, there we are, the Auto 9. Now, I've always known this as the Auto 9, even though I don't think, it, well, at least in the first film anyway, it's never referred to as the Auto 9. So I don't know if I got that from the uh, TV show or the animated series, I can't remember, but that's just something that, I've, you know, it's always been in my, in my head. That's not going back on. There we go, you can just be... <laughs> I've won this time, I battle damaged uh, Robocop maybe. But also, the Auto 9 does come with an accessory for it, which um, I don't think really works that well. And it's this thing, which looks like a underdeveloped uh, face hugger egg sack. I think it would have worked if they would have perhaps put a bit more color in this, maybe some orange or some reds. But basically, you insert, get this the right way around, that into, oh, I'll do it on camera. It just pushes on, it's quite a good fit, and it looks like that. Yeah, I can see where they went with it, it just doesn't work. It needs some more colour on there just to um, redefine that. I do find that it does make him a little bit more uh, heavy. I'll get this back on now, can I? No, a bit more. There we go. I don't think to the point where he'll fall over, um, but yeah, it, it does. It looks rubbish. His face, it doesn't quite look right. Um, but it wouldn't take much of an effort just to uh, give that a bit of colour. And also, mine's a little bit offset as well, so it's not quite. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't look right at all. But hey ho, they tried. All right, there we are. I just had to uh, cut the camera there just so I can get his hand back on. That took a lot of effort to get that back on. There we are. So let's talk about pricing. So for this fine example, I bought this from a shop, a local shop that sells this kind of stuff, and it was £50. You can buy this online a little bit cheaper. Uh, the cheapest I found it thus far, um, the usual sort of place like Amazon, is only like £2 cheaper. Um, I think comics and cocktails might have it a little bit cheaper still, but around £50 mark is what you're looking at, if you're in the UK at least. But before I wrap this up, I will just uh, go through something else that I uh, didn't quite go through with you. We'll go back to the uh, the leg here, pop that open. I didn't show uh, the Auto 9 going in there. 
Now this is extremely fiddly to get in. Uh, you have to place the gun in so uh, this part here fits over that peg and that should close but we'll give it a go. It's probably easier for a pair of tweezers if you're not very... But yeah, that, that little click sound is, should be a good sign. There we are, it should close. And then we just push this in like so. That was catching, you see, it's not the easiest thing to get in. Here we go, let's try it again. There we go. No, you see what I mean? Yeah, it's not a great design. And I've dropped the gun. Oh well. But there we are. So overall, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I'm sure I'd quite happily give this like a eight out of 10 maybe. It's pretty good, the paintwork's pretty good. Um, I don't really have any damage. Just on the leg there, as you can see some of the paint, it's come away or been scuffed by something. Not by me, I do look after my things. I'm not gonna stand, are you? Yes, you are. Overall, very nice. There are three versions, I believe. There's this one, obviously. There's a battle damage version. And there's the, and the third one is, uh, I think it's the battle damage version one, but with his chair. And that's a hundred pounds, which I'm not going to get. I don't think, no, 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 I'm not gonna get it. And for anybody that's curious like me with the heads, I have checked with the T100 here and his head is, uh, it doesn't quite fit on. It was worth a go though. Here you go, see it's far too big. But if you wondered what an R swash thing I would have liked as Robocop, you get a, an idea there, I guess. But there we are. That's, uh, I think, in a nutshell for me of the naked Robocop figure there. There we are. But this isn't the last of him you'll see. I don't know. Because after this video, I do have Ed 209. Can I fit him in short? Just about. There we are. Also by Nika. I will be reviewing that in the next few days. I have set some time aside to do that. But I do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing, it really helps me out. And until the next video, see you later.